Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your Devil Comment reading for you. Now this is a really cool reading because the Devil Comments only comes into our solar system every 71 years. So this is pretty much a once in a lifetime experience. So let's see what the cards have to say. And if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All the good things that YouTube likes. So thank you so very much for doing so. It is astoundingly helpful to me. Okay, so let's see what the cards have to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides, angels. Fantastic. Okay. So we are crowned here with the Wheel of Fortune. So we're going to see that this time, this Devil Comet is going to signify a change in our fortune, a change in season for us. Now, comets aren't necessarily, you know, harbingers of of good news they're not in in historical you know documents they they are really seen rather negatively and this is not to doomsday us or to to say oh great you know now something else is going to go wrong but what we're going to see here is that this comet brings with brings it with it a liberation for our soul from ignorance and bondage and comets are usually linked to wars they're linked to natural disasters they're linked to you know famines, destruction, you know, all the good things that we don't want. So what we're going to see here is that it brings a change in fortune. And it doesn't mean that everything's going to go poorly for us. What it means is that from April to June, we are going to see an increase in conflict in our world, in the world, but we're also going to see an increase in a sense of, I now see what I want. You know, I'm moving forward in a direction and in a way that is right for me. Again, a liberation of our soul from ignorance and from bondage. So this is going to be a time that's really quite exciting. It's really quite beautiful. There's a transformation going on and our season, our way of existing in this world is going to be changing. It brings us then to... The lovers in the upright position. You're very cool, Aquarius, because you're the first ones to have the lovers in the upright position. This is Gemini energy. So Gemini energy comes through very positively during this time. If you know a Gemini, if you have Gemini energy in your chart, that comes through very positively here. This is a sense of love, of connection, of your angels guiding you, of things moving forward towards love. It's very interesting because lust comes up for a lot of people during the Devil's Comet, which kind of makes sense. The Devil brings forward lust, but the Devil's Comet is named thus because when you look at this comet hurling itself through space or being hurled through space, it will kind of look like it has horns. So it is nicknamed the Devil's Comet. I think it has like a number, you know, letter name to it. But what we're going to see here is that during this time, we're going to be really looking at what do I love? And that's very interesting because we have so much Aries energy, right? The Devil's Comet is in Aries. We have the solar eclipse is in Aries. The new moon is in Aries. We have Mercury retrograde, which, you know, is in Aries. It's from the 1st to the 25th. So that's for mostly Aries, all in Aries season because Aries ends on the 20th. So what we're going to see here is that we also have Chiron in Aries, the lunar nodes in Aries, you know, Mercury in Aries. We have so much energy in Aries that this can be a very volatile, conflict-riddled time. And yet we're going to be saying to ourselves, what do I love? And how can that love move me forward? How can that love guide me to the place that I want to be? With the lover's card, it's also connecting with those that we love. It's connecting with our angels. It's connecting with our spirit guides. It's going to be opening ourselves up to love, to caring, to compassion. And it brings us then to the Ten of Wands reversed. We are looking at things and saying, I want my life to be more than just the dirt on my shoes. I want my life to be more than just feeling overburdened and overwhelmed. And that's going to be so important during this time because again, we're changing our world. We have the repeat now of the number 10 twice. We could have it more depending on you know what cards we flip over. And there, there is a sense of I'm releasing. I'm releasing the weight that I've been carrying. I'm releasing having to have these burdens on my shoulders. I'm releasing the fact that my life does not get to be filled with joy. And now I am moving towards something that is is more for me, that is guiding me forward in a way that I hadn't realized I could have. Now we might have dreams of free falling. 
So just be aware of this. You can dream that you're, you know, kind of falling into your body. You know, you wake up with that jolt or there's, there can be just a sense of like, I just want to release everything. So with the 10 of wands reverse, it's not going to be, I'm putting down these burdens gently. It's going to be kind of like an all at once, a rather, I want to say violent, like, you know, I don't want this, throwing it down, flinging it down and releasing it because we're starting to say what it is that we want. We're starting to say where it is that we want to be. And then, okay, we have another 10, which is the 10 of, of swords. Now three tens. So divinely, we are being told that there is a huge change going on. And we're seeing here where we have felt trapped, where we have felt trapped within our mind, trapped within, you know, the emotions of others, trapped within our own emotions. There can be a sense of, you know, there can be headaches, there can be, you know, body aches, chills, we could have a cold like, like I do. And there's, there's just a sense here with the 10 of, of swords of I'm releasing a decade of, of other people's narratives being more powerful than my own, or a fact that I can't because I can't have this because fill in the blank. And this is going to be a time where we're saying to ourselves, Oh, no, I can't. I can move forward to where I want to be. I can embrace what I desire because I'm seeing myself rise out of the darkness, see that my way isn't blocked. You know, I'm not caged in. And as we do this, and as we see this, it brings us to the sleepers reverse. Now, this is judgment reverse. Our world isn't about everybody else judging us. What we're going to see, what the devil's comment brings us forward to, to seeing and realizing is that it's about us judging us. We have held ourselves back. You know, we have kind of stepped on our own, you know, dress, cloak, whatever it is that you want to say, and held ourselves back. And this is going to be a time where we're saying to ourselves, oh, yes, I can. You know, it might take time. It might take work. You're going to be terrible at it because you're going to be new at something. And you're always terrible when you're new. So show yourself grace. Show yourself kindness. Stop judging you so harshly. And this is a time to step into your world, your business, your desire, yourself because we're doing a lot of self-judging and it's just not necessary. You know, if people don't want to be in our circle, that's okay. That's, that's up to them. They get to choose the path they want to walk in their life. We get to choose ours. You can extend an olive branch to people. You can be as kind and compassionate as you want to be, but you know, people will still make their choice to, to be your friend, to, to be on your side or not to be. And it's, it's a hard pill to swallow, right? But it's an important one. And we're going to see here with the, with the King of Pentacles reversed is that huh, we've been ruled by money. And I'm not saying that in a bad way because life is ruled by money, right? But with the King of Pentacles, this is Earth sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A, it's in one way or another, money has had a hold over us, which is just true for all human beings, right? You know, I watched this thing where this guy was a, a nomad who walked around with his sheep and he, he seemed to be pretty free, but that was kind of an intense life to live. With the King of Pentacles reversed, there, there is a sense of, I get to see what seeds I want to plant within my own prosperity. And I'm taking it from somebody else's hands into my own. Because I'm seeing the King of Pentacles as being others getting to hold their money over my head and saying, oh, life has to be X, Y, Z because I hold the power. And what we're going to see here during this time, Aquarius, is that we're taking back the, the power. We're taking back what we love in life. And we are embracing our prosperity, our success, our bounty, our abundance. And this is going to be a time where it really is quite revolutionary for us. We're, we're changing the game. And as we change the game, we reconnect with where we want to be and how we want to move forward. Now, if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a rain cloud in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and, and announced on Sunday. So hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when that video comes up. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is peace. We need to move forward in peace. It's, it's not waiting for anybody to bring us peace. It is, it is knowing that especially when a comet comes across the sky and one as powerful as the devil's comet, that peace is not guaranteed. It is what we choose within our lives. And this is going to be a time where we need to choose our own peace. And it brings us then to our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. 
guide this reading and show me clearly. This is inspiration reverse. This is the sacral chakra. We can feel like we're not inspired. We haven't been inspired for a while. Why? Because we've been burdened down and broken down by the words of others and by the burdens of, of others, by the words and, and burdens of ourselves even. It doesn't have to be that it's on other people. And what we're going to see here is that it's time to be inspired again. There's a blockage in our sacral chakra, which is our sacred energy that's running through us. And it's time to be inspired. It's time to create. It's time to cultivate. It's time to open up the door. That is going to be so important. And it moves us then to the energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides show them clearly. This is the three of cups. Be mindful of the people who say they're going to celebrate you and don't. No, be mindful of either thinking, okay, I've done something wrong here or, you know, kind of living in that energy of how can I change this? You can't. People will choose to celebrate you and people will choose not to celebrate you. And that is just their choice. And you can't, you're not in control of another person. You just can't be. And with the three of cups, it's saying here, look at those who do celebrate you because they're the ones who matter and they're the ones that we tend as human beings to overlook. So just be aware of that. Again, our world is changing and it's moving us towards love. It's going to be, you know, love and peace and a sense of where do I need to stand within me and how do I need to move forward for me? It's not about, it's funny because we feel judged. We do feel judged, but it's not about everybody else's judgment that has us held back. It's our own judgment of ourselves. So do be aware of this during this time and somebody else is holding the money above our heads. And it's like, well, you can't because, and it can't even be that we're being, you know, very prudent, stingy with our money for ourselves. And we can be holding this over our heads where it has to be just this certain way, just so. And spirit is saying here, why? Look at the seeds that you want to plant in this world and start planting them. Look at the bounty that you want to move forward in and start moving forward in it. It is time to celebrate our existence. It is time to know that our angels bless us and to move forward in those blessings. Our world is changing and it might as well be for the better. Our subconscious spirit message is abundance reverse. We don't see ourselves as abundant and that's going to be something that from April to June, we're going to be changing because of the conflict that comes up that makes us change this. It brings us then to holistic health. It is connecting with our healing. This is our root chakra. This is being aware of our bodies. This is taking care of ourselves. This is this is listening to our bodies. Our bodies are going to be talking to us during this time. You know, the food that we feed us, the, the drinks that we drink, the way that we nourish our soul and ourselves is going to be so important. Listen to your body. Listen to your soul. Listen to you. The holistic health, the healing is going to be a powerful, beautiful thing. It brings us then to the energy to be mindful of. You're not celebrating you. Be mindful also of those who don't celebrate you, who make you feel small and insignificant, which is kind of like the energy we're going to be gravitating towards because it's like, oh, they're telling me the truth because they're being, you know, hard. They're not telling you the truth. They're just being mean. Celebrate you. You're going to have to, a tendency to be like, oh, I can always achieve more. I can always do better. And spirit's like, why do you need to do better? Why can't you be happy with who you are? And we can want to be in better circumstances. That can be a different thing. But see yourself as a powerful, beautiful being and walk forward in that energy, in that knowledge. And then subconsciously, we have the tower. This is going to be a time that changes a lot. Subconsciously, we know it's going to change a lot. A tower time is an intense time. It's a powerful time. And we're going to see our world changing. We're going to see ourselves changing. And it the way that we looked at things, the way that we, we saw things is going to start to change. And that's going to be a very powerful thing. It's going to be a very intense thing. It's actually going to be a very beautiful thing because a tower, a time of intense change does not have to be bad. It's just going to take us by surprise and it's going to open our world in ways that we didn't imagine it could and we didn't imagine it would. All right. All right, Aquarius. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. 
And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Aquarius. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.